Well, let me start with Candy Crowley on CNN grilling Robert Gibbs on the on their Romney outsourcing lies that everyone has debunked. Why, when I say everybody, I don't mean I don't mean that crazy Glenn Beck. I mean everyone has debunked on uh, CNN, on the Washington Post. They have debunked this, and the White House doesn't care. There's something really important to learn from this, but let's try to get through the nonsense first. And then I'll tell you what, what we take from this. Here is Candy Crowley and Robert Gibbs on out-and-out lies from the White House. As governor, he did the same thing, outsourcing state jobs to India. Now he's making the exact same pitch. I know why jobs come and why they go. Outsourcing jobs. Romney Economics. It didn't work then. And it won't work now. You all have invested very heavily in the Bain Capital uh, element of trying to uh, convince people of what Mitt Romney is about. And yet this particular ad got four Pinocchios from the Washington Post, which is not true. And this is what factcheck.org had to say. We found no evidence to support the claim that Romney, while he was still running Bain Capital, shipped American jobs overseas. Well, You now have a similar ad out. Why do yeah. you keep well, with that? I would say that factcheck.org ought to read the Washington Post, which uh, is the one that came up with a report that said, uh, looking at uh, uh, SEC filings, that Mitt Romney and Bain Capital were pioneers in outsourcing. It's also the publication which said it was a flat-out lie. It's also the organization that said, for Pinocchios, this is not true. And it's so bizarre that they continue to cite the Washington Post, which called it a lie. I'll explain in a second. They shit jobs all over the world that could and should have been. Romney was, yeah. but, but the point, their point is that, in fact... Uh, Mitt Romney was not running Bain. He had uh, cut ties and gone off. That also is not true because Mitt Romney was the head and sole owner of Bain longer than Mitt Romney has admitted to being the sole owner (laughs) of Bain. But let's understand this because we saw this a little bit again this week. We've got a guy who believes and has been a pioneer in outsourcing jobs. Uh, And quite frankly, he offshores most of his own personal investments Presumably to shield them from taxes. Candy, I don't know about you. I Listen pick a this. bank because th- there's an ATM near my home, right? Mitt Romney had a bank account in Switzerland. And he's got a shell company. Nothing in... illegal, right? Well, no, well you're we not charging that he's done anything well, we illegal with any know. of this. Plenty Candy, of... I nobody, knows, nobody knows why he has a corporation in Bermuda. Yet if you say, for instance, I don't know if Barack Obama's Muslim. Oh, my gosh. You're... <laughs> You're the you're a racist. You're one of the worst people ever born on this planet. But they don't, but they don't know, know. I don't if know he's if he done anything, anything illegal. There, no proof. There's there's no indication. There's no evidence. Well, I don't know. They can just throw that smear out there. I don't know. I don't know if he's done anything I just, illegal. You ready wow. for this? Do you remember what they said when I said I'm just asking the question? Yeah. Shouldn't we have answers to this? Do you remember what they said about me? All he's saying is. We don't know. I'm just asking the question. Shouldn't somebody be asking this question? (laughs) That's incredible. It is. Why he failed to disclose that on seven different financial disclosures. Why he transferred it to somebody else's uh, purview the day before he became governor of Massachusetts. The one thing he could do, Candy, to clear up whether or not he's done anything illegal, whether he's shielding his income from taxes in Bermuda or Switzerland, is to do what every other presidential candidate's done, and that's release a series of years of their own tax returns. Mitt Romney's father was the pioneer for releasing a series of tax returns. The best way to figure out if Mitt Romney's complying with American tax law is to have him release more of his tax returns. This is a guy whose slogan is believe in America, and it should be business in Bermuda. That's what Mitt Romney's all about. Which is a great line, but again, there's no evidence here uh, that uh, that any of the fact-checked organizations have found that A, he outsourced jobs or was was present at Bain when that happened, and B, that he's done anything illegal. You've had a lot of advice from uh, folks, Democrats, saying get off of this particular Bain thing. There's obviously some polling uh, that shows, in fact... Uh, there's it's having some effect in some of the battleground states. Well, again, but th- why this is an ad. It? This is an ad that's based on a report that the Washington Post did. Mm-hmm. OK, so I would encourage everyone to go to Washington Post dot com uh, and read that report. OK, this is a, this is amazing. And, and here's what we should um, here's what we should pull from this. The polling numbers, what she said towards the end is the most accurate. 
that the polling numbers are showing that this attack on Romney is working in some swing states. That's all they care about, some swing states. This is not a president who is the president of the United States. He is the president of some swing states. He is a president of coalitions. That's all he is. Can we pull together enough coalitions? So there is no universal truth with him. There is only the truth that works in some swing states or with some voters. Because that's what he needs to do. This is not the uniter we were promised. This is the divider we all feared. So there's the first thing. The truth doesn't matter. It is only the truth of some swing states. Second thing. You'll notice they don't care. How many times does this have to be pointed out? Factcheck.org is a liberal organization. It's not a conservative organization. It's a liberal organization. Same thing with the Washington Post. Washington Post is not a conservative newspaper. It is a liberal newspaper. So the liberals are coming after. You'll notice also that Candy Crowley said some Democrats are also coming out and saying, stop with this. They don't care. And here's what they don't care about. Here's what, they, here's what they know to be true. Some Democrats don't make a difference. They don't care what some Democrats say. They don't care. Because some Democrats don't make a difference. They're easily pushed to the margins. And the Washington Post and factcheck.org and media organizations don't matter to them. They don't care. Why? Because they know that don't, they, don't, they don't matter to you. I will tell you that this is one of the hardest things that we have to deal with. Because when you're constantly under attack, it's really difficult not to respond. And we say this all the time off the air and sometimes on the air. But it's almost impossible to do. Don't respond to them. We don't care. Don't care. They don't matter. These guys are living it. They know that the Washington Post only matters to the liberal elite, only matters to the media elite. But the media doesn't matter to the American people anymore. Only the stuff that punches through, if you say a lie loud enough and long enough, people start to believe it. So only the stuff that they just keep going through. Most Americans don't want to hear that their president is a liar. Most Americans don't want to hear that their president possibly is on the wrong side. Most Americans don't want to hear that their their president is a Marxist. So they will avoid those things at all costs. They also, the reason why they don't want to hear this is because we as Americans tend to see ourselves in others. We tend to see the highest possibility. We we still respect the president of the United States, even if we disagree with him. We still respect that office. And we tend to see, just like we did on 9-11, when everybody gets together and they hold hands and they sing Kumbaya on the stairs of the Capitol, we all think, you know, we all love America. We see ourselves, the highest self, in others. We don't think that other people are actually trying to destroy us. We don't think people are capable of that. And so we don't want to hear that our president is a liar because we don't think our president could be a liar. Even though we've had proof, president after president after president, that they are just like us, they do lie. So when somebody gets on like Robert Gibbs and can look the American people in the eye and say, Kenny, you don't know what you're talking about. Those are lies. Most people aren't going to go to the Washington Post. Most people are not going to uh, noodle all of this. Remember, they're not going for the highest common denominator. They're going for the lowest common denominator. And the lowest common denominator will actually believe that nobody has the balls to look somebody in the eye and say, that's not true. 